I am uh, Donna Cox at the National Center for Supercomputing Applications, the University of Illinois, and I direct an advanced visualization laboratory and have for the last 15 years. And my research focus for the last 25 years is taking complex data, computational science, large scale, and, and developing time-evolving visualizations, developing insight into the numbers, the billions of numbers that come out of supercomputing. Uh, NSFNet was one of our visuals, worked with industry in uh, uh, developing different types of visualizations uh, for reaching the public. We've worked with ocean data, we work with different types of uh, domain scientists. And for example, here is an ocean visualization funded by NSF for uh, uh, a, uh, ocean study. Um, we also have done worked with the U.S. Department of Transportation on information graphics, studying Washington, D.C. and Chicago visualizations of traffic, uh, climate studies. Um, this is probably our most famous visualization here that's been on the cover of a president's report and has uh, uh, been scaled on many different output environments visualization of a tornado and working, we work directly as teams, renaissance teams, a term I coined in the 80s of interdisciplinary teams of taking this data, turning it into visuals. Some of these teams have educators, uh, producers, writers, but always we start out with the data and the scientists. We discovered that secondary tornado that you see there in the scientific data that the scientists had not seen. We have interactive visualization tools. We work directly with the scientists with these tools, and some of these tools we have open sourced, handed out to people to use for educational purposes. Uh, Part of you has been downloaded last year 35,000 times from the American Museum of Natural History to study uh, astronomy, astrophysics data. Our big, uh, uh, big conversion and a work that I did uh, in the mid-90s was on Cosmic Voyage. And we set a precedent for science educational films by using computational data instead of special effects. It was nominated for Academy Award, partially funded by the Smithsonian, NSF, and Motorola Foundation. And that has led to a cascade of projects of IMAX films, uh, Runaway Universe, PBS Nova, we've worked with a lot, uh, Amer um, different digital dome uh, presentations. Visualizations are portable across screens, displays, and even the museums are becoming more portable. These domes are inflatable, you can put them on vans, take the museum to the people, and visualizations port across all kinds of media, and that reinforcement by being redundant helps us to build a new visual language in different kinds of shared contexts. How do we measure success? Well, with Denver Museum of Nature and Science on black holes, we did pre-marketing uh, evaluations of audiences, forming <coughs> focus groups. We learned an enormous amount as we were making the show, summative evaluations. And we focused on fourth and fifth graders with um, minorities and looking at how people would learn from these experiences, providing educational materials that they could take home. And then we worked with WGBH to do interactive online experiences to augment and reinforce these big shows. Now, large exposure is a form of measurement. So most of these shows have gotten audiences for example, the, uh, in the millions, of the one on the left, you see the three million homes in one night, and internet television is on the incline, and millions of people download these, but we, have, we don't know how to measure them. So I'm looking for educators to work with to help uh, provide and extend these experiences. We can provide visualizations and software uh, we believe that we are helping the public to develop a whole new language of visual science. Science has never been more visual, and in these shared contexts of social computing as well as traditional venues and museums. Thank you.